we're going to make is a bow for a standard size wreath, which we say a wreath that's made on a 12 inch ring. It's a very generous, very lively bow, and here is the technique for making it. First you pick your ribbon, and you measure five pieces of ribbon that are approximately 24 inches long. You can mark a table with the measurements, or you can just do it by feel, which is how I do it. So you have five pieces that are 24 inches long. Then you take the five pieces and you make a loop, stapling the piece parallel to the selvage of the ribbon, two staples in each just to hold it shut. You do this with each of the five pieces. So what you need in terms of equipment to do this is a staple gun, a scissors, what we call French wire, which is pre-cut wire 18 inches long, of a gauge that is pretty easy to work with by hand. You don't need a wire cutters or anything like that to handle it. And that's it. So when you have five loops, you put the junction of the loop on the table. You find the center and you crimp it. And this is the trick, is to hold the crimp in your fingers to keep the pressure even as you crimp each piece and place them in a pinwheel shape. So you take the five, you make a pinwheel, and when you have all five stacked up, hold them tight. You take the French wire, which is this wire, and you place it over the center so that you have five loops on each side of the wire, and you twist a tight twist. This is the base for the ribbon, and because this is twist, twisted, you have a lot of, it's got a lot of strength, so you can manipulate it, which is the way you get such a lively bow. Then you take the ribbon again and cut a piece about 10 inches long and a piece about 36 inches long. Take the 10 inch piece, lap it over, staple it like you did the loops. Then you crimp this the same way you did before. Take another piece of French wire, run it through the loop, lay it on your base exactly where the other wire was. On the back of the bow you have four wires. Then you take the, this becomes the tail of the ribbon of the bow, you find the center of it, crimp it, and place it inside these four wires you have on the back. And then you twist all of that together, as tight as you can do it. I'll be here tomorrow anyway. And that's the finished bow. Now you can twist the tails around, you can open the loops, you can make sure the button is in the right place. The wires on the back can be used to attach to whatever you're going to attach to. And you take the scissors again and cut the tails so that you end up with a point like that or you can do it on an angle, whatever personal preference is. And that is your bow. You can also add more pieces to the back, more tails. You can make a bigger bow, but this technique is basically works for any size bow.